waistlines have become bigger as the years have gone on. There are a lot of parallels between the dog and their obesity issue, um, and frankly, people as well. I'm Patty Siegel and I'm the Director of Operations at the Morris Animal Inn. I run a few different programs, one of them of course being our fitness program. Ruby is a black lab. She loves to swim, she loves to play. She's about 96 pounds right now. A typical lab should be anywhere between 60 and 80 pounds. There you go, good girl, good girl, you got it, you got it, come on sweetheart. Oh. Lolita is fantastic. Her mother is not able to walk her as much as her mom would like to. A lot of clients do have dogs that are a little bit chubby. Um, they're being spoiled at home and maybe not getting quite the exercise they should. I am Teresa Christie. I have a Rhodesian Ridgeback and her name is Ashley and she is four years old. She's not fat, but she is overweight. So it's more, I think, trying to control it so we don't get to the point where it's going to be major health problems for her, like joint problems as she gets older. Ashley is very typical of some of the dogs in America where they don't look hugely obese. People think of an obese dog and they think the dog is going to look like a big marshmallow. However, she does need to lose some weight. It's um, our healthy snack, and it is low-fat yogurt with green beans on top. We'll try to get them on a healthier diet, and hopefully we'll slim their waistlines in the process. The swim is a very good exercise for them, um, very low impact on their joints. And all the beginning swimmers will um, be put into a life vest just so they can learn how to swim properly. Even before we see weight loss is the dog starts to feel better and the dog starts to have that sparkle back in their eye and start to do things that a dog is supposed to be doing. 